when I moved back from DC to Atlanta, I was still growing through my depression. And I started kicking it with an old friend of mine. And I was going through depression. I was looking hard. She knew I was going through some stuff. We talked about it a little bit, but she knew I was going through some things and she knew I was depressed. And she knew that I was hanging out with her because I was depressed and I needed to feel good. And she needed company, so we was cool, right? So while I'm going through my depression, I'm looking like shit, just horrid. Then her birthday comes and I feeling good and I'm cute and my hair is cute and everything around me was perfect. Not really, but absolutely, right? So anyways, I show up and I look amazing and she was not feeling that. She spent her entire paint and sit birthday party throwing little cheap shots at me. Someone gave me a compliment. She was just like, oh, I've seen her at her worst. Okay, she has, true. But why did she feel the need to say that? Someone else was like, oh, I remember you. And she was like, yeah, you remember her. She wasn't that pretty back then. So it's not me, because I didn't watch her make three or four subliminal jokes about me. Why would she do that? Why would she sit there and make jokes about me when I'm out of my depression? Because when I was depressed and I was looking like crap and she, and she thought I was weak and vulnerable, she was all on it. Why? Because me and my weakness and my vulnerability was an asset to her. I was an asset. I was something she felt she could control because I didn't have anything. She knew I didn't have anything. So she was like, oh, I can use that to manipulate her to get her to do what I want. If you are going, growing, growing through something, I'm not saying isolate yourself, but I'm just saying is watch the people around you. And even if you're not growing through something, just think about the people that's around you. Why would a friend be upset that you are getting better at something? They have to have a reason. You can say, oh, they're being a hater. In hindsight, yes. But why are they being a hater? Because your strength and your power, your confidence no longer serves them. They don't want that. They, they want weakness. You can control weak, passive, submissive. You cannot control powerful, confident, beautiful, courageous. Self-confidence can be controlled. Low confidence, maybe.